it is the end of half term and we are back to school. We are back to cold, the clocks have changed, it's a bit rainy, it's November. And while November means fireworks and bonfires, which are fun, it also means that mock season is starting. So what are the actual point of mocks? There are a few points to having mocks. They give you an indication of how well you're potentially going to do in the real exams. They force you to start arriving a little bit earlier on than maybe you would have done otherwise. But the key thing about mocks is they point out the bits that you don't know. Now, obviously, you want to come out of any exam, test, mock, the real exams with a great grade. You want to be able to do all of the questions, but honestly, being able to do all of the questions shows you what you do know, and that's fantastic, and that's amazing. And then you might just be filled with a little bit too much confidence and go, oh, yeah, I don't need to revise that again because I know it. I did it in my mock and I did really well. However, if there's a question on your mock that you didn't do really well on, you know you need to revise that question harder or in more depth or practice your exam technique. And that is the really powerful, important thing about mocks. It is not about coming out with a great grade at the end. It is more about making mistakes. This is the bit where it is okay to get it wrong. You are allowed to forget where electrons are in your mock. I mean, your teacher might not be over impressed, but this is not the real exam. It is okay to make those mistakes. The really, really important thing to do is to not ignore the mistakes that you have made. The really, really important thing to do is to then look at those mistakes and go, how do I fix that for the future? Maybe your teacher will have provided you with some written feedback, some questions, some videos to go and watch. Do those tasks. They are so, so important. Responding to teacher feedbacks is one of the best ways that you can learn how to improve in the real exam because that's what we want to do it doesn't matter what grade you've got in your mocks we want you to come out of your real exams with higher grades at the end the whole point is to improve when i was training to teach and i don't know how accurate this is um i was told that between mocks and a real exam a student will generally gain 10 extra marks in learning more stuff um doing better revision just being a little bit more motivated they would go up by 10 marks and depending on exactly where the grade boundaries fall, that could be a grade or two grades going up between the mocks and the real exams. So even if you are disheartened with the, the grades that you're going to potentially get in your mocks, which will probably be starting after, um, after you go back to school, these are not your final exams. This is not definitely 100% what you're going to come out with. I know revising for mocks, especially when you've gone back to school after a nice, relaxing, hopefully relaxing half term, might seem a little bit oh not fun but you're kind of like kicking yourself that you should be revising more over half term there are lots and lots of really low-key low stress things you can do to help revise that is revision but it's not sitting down doing paper after paper after paper after paper we have on my website some revision workshops where we've gone through some papers to help you revise lots of different things over my website, there were 100% free multiple choice questions for nearly everything in science and maths at GCSE and at A level, where you can just go and do the questions and then see how well you did. If you didn't do well, well, that's okay because this isn't your real exam. You are allowed to make mistakes at this point in time. But the point is, with the multiple choice questions on my website, you see what the actual answer is once you click through, finish quiz, see results. And then you can learn from that. Then you can learn not to write that in the exam, not to make that same mistake in the exam. If there's any bits that you're not sure about, if there's any bits where you're kind of like, oh, I completely missed that in the exam, then the free revision guides over my website can take you through everything the examiners think that you know and then you can click through to longer teaching videos if there's anything that you're not 100% sure about. So I know mocks are super, super stressful for you guys, um, but there are loads and loads of really low key, low stress things you can be doing that are great revision, that will be great revision for your mocks, and then will help you focus on areas to improve on for your real exams. Ouch!
This is when some videos I have unexplained scratches.